I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this I'll always show up, and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this I'll always show up, and make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence, I'll be it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 45, and it's Thursday night's main event after the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Welcome inside the arena here this evening on what is going to be a jam-packed night of action inside that very ring. And hot off the heels of the Extreme Rules pay-per-view this past Sunday, a competitor from that event is going to be in action here tonight when the Celtic Warrior Sheamus goes up against the main roster debuting Ilya Dragunov, former NXT United Kingdom champion. These two UK competitors are going to clash in tonight's main event right here this evening. We kick things off tonight with a little bit of tag team action. The Street Profits. Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford. They're coming off a victory over Lucha House Party a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. But tonight, the challenge grows stronger. Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, the Hurt Business, looking to get back in the winning ways in the tag team side of things. And looking to take down the Street Profits here this evening on Main Event. So the Street Profits back in action here in the WWE as of late. And looking to keep their momentum going in this tag team matchup here tonight. But as we mentioned, they're going up against Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin of the Hurt Business. The last time we saw them in tag team action was a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw as well against Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. And their history has been well documented as of late. Of course, Priest and Dijakovic picked up the win on that tag team matchup. But it was this past weekend at Saturday night's main event where Shelton Benjamin went one-on-one -on -one with Damian Priest, and thanks to the assist by Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin got his hand raised on that night. So the drama continues to grow between those two teams. Of course, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic were in action this past Monday night on Raw, taking on Dominic and Rey Mysterio for the World Tag Team Championships. They came up short in that incredible matchup on Raw, but now things continue to get interesting. Who will be the next team? in the near future to challenge Dominic and Ray for the World Tag Team Championships. It could very well be one of these teams that we're gonna see here in action tonight. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 448 pounds, Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander, the Hurt Business. So a recent tag team loss for these men, but that victory for Shelton Benjamin on Saturday night's Main event bringing some good mojo to the Hurt Business locker room. Can they keep that going here tonight? The Street Profits only have one match since their return to WWE, but they got the victory there. And again, the last time these two men were in tag team action, they took the loss. So you gotta think the momentum's in the corner of Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford here tonight. But the Hurt Business, they're looking to settle the score. They're looking to get back in the winning ways. And again, as we approach closer, to our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, which is going to be Judgment Day in the month of September. You got to wonder who is going to be challenging for the World Tag Team Championships on that night. It could very well be one of these teams right here. Montez Ford coming out swinging right after the bell and taking down Shelton Benjamin. Should be a great night of action inside the ring as we're kicking it off this tag team wrestling affair. And again, in our main event contest tonight, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, who's coming off a loss over the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. We're gonna touch on that a little bit more later tonight, but Sheamus gonna be in action against the debuting Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov coming up to the main roster officially as of tonight. He's a former NXT United Kingdom champion. An incredible talent is Dragunov. We're gonna see him in that very ring against the Celtic Warrior later this evening. All that and more still to come here on Thursday night's main event. We wanna thank you for joining us right here tonight. On the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, we want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below to keep more content coming week after week. A part of our WWE 2K22 Universe Mode episodes. 
Montez Ford now bringing Shelton, Cedric Alexander in the corner, excuse me, taking him out in a beautiful shooting star press. Montez Ford so impressive in that ring. Such a long list of abilities in there. Not even put Cedric Alexander away yet, but definitely some damage done in the first few moments of this contest. And again, if you missed the matchup on Monday Night Raw, Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest taking on Dominic and Rey Mysterio for the World Tag Team Championships. Absolutely tearing down the house. Well, it was one of two championship matches on the Raw after Extreme Rules this past week. And Mysterio is, of course, coming out with the win, retaining the World Tag Team Championships, continuing their dominance over the tag team division as of late. As Angelo Dawkins is in. Pinfall on Alexander, but Cedric gets his shoulder up. We talked about it on Raw. We'll continue to talk about it here. Dominic and Rey Mysterio absolutely just running over the tag team division the last number of months. They've got victories over Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. They've got victories over Legado del Fantasma, Lucha House Party. The Viking Raiders on two occasions, and then again, most recently, Priest and Dijakovic as of this past Monday Night on Raw. So who is going to be next to step up to Dominic and Rey Mysterio as they continue to make their way through the tag team division? And of course, it's harder to stay at the top, but the Mysterios have been doing a very good job of doing so. But who is going to be the competition it's going to give them a run for their money and possibly take away the Tag Team Championships. We'll find out in due time. It could be the Street Profits. It could be the Hurt Business. It could be another team in the division looking to step up. Only time will tell. And again, our next Universe Mode pay-per-view. Wait a minute here. Angelo Dawkins going for the cover on Shelton Benjamin. But Benjamin gets his shoulder up. And again, our next Universe Mode pay-per-view going to be coming in the month of September. The Judgment Day pay-per-view event. And of course, this coming Monday night on Raw... We're gonna kick off that WWE Championship Eliminator, which is gonna conclude at Judgment Day to determine a future challenger for the WWE Championship. Also coming up this Monday Night Raw, we're gonna find out who Austin Theory's opponent's gonna be for the WWE Championship at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. So that pay-per-view event already shaping up to be an incredible night of action. Of course, Extreme Rules were hot off the heels of that event. What a great night it was. If you missed Extreme Rules, go check out the replay now. There's Alexander with the Hangman's neckbreaker on Dawkins. Extreme Rules featuring five championship matches. We also saw a false count anywhere match on that show. No holds barred match. An incredible night. It was in Seattle, Washington this past Sunday. And Extreme Rules. Of course, Austin Theory walking out the new WWE champion. Pete Dunne retaining the Intercontinental Championship over Finn Balor. Of course, the World Tag Team Champions, the Mysterios, retained over the Viking Raiders in that tables contest ricochet retained the cruiserweight championship over santos escobar in the ladder matchup and so much more that took place on that event again you can go check out the replay right now on the no nation gaming youtube channel be sure to subscribe down below as you do so is angelo dawkins taking it to shelton benjamin and dawkins is feeling it here in this tag team matchup here on main event and her business may be in trouble i'm sure their leader bobby lashley isn't going to be happy with another loss Especially coming so soon after that loss to Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic a couple of weeks ago. Montez Ford, the legal man. Ford's headed to the top rope. High risk, high reward. Ford into the splash. And that could be all. Street Profits looking to get their hand raised tonight, but not just yet. Benjamin hanging in there. And again, Shelton Benjamin picking up that win over Damian Priest this past weekend on Saturday night's main event. And Damian Priest almost put Benjamin away on a couple of occasions in that contest, but... Cedric Alexander sticking his nose in that matchup. Taking Priest's eye off the ball one too many times. Shelton Benjamin took advantage. The pay dirt on Damian Priest is enough to give the win to the gold standard of the Hurt Business here. And a big time splash to Montez Ford in the corner. And Benjamin so agile in the ring, but definitely has got some big time size with muscle on him. Sloshing his opponent in the corner. Almost had him there, but Dawkins able to break things up. Benjamin going after Dawkins here. Cedric Alexander's in there as well. Referee's got to get control of this contest. We don't want to see things break down here on main event. We're down to Benjamin and Ford once again in the ring. It's Shelton Benjamin going to use his strength to his advantage here. Press slam, driving Ford down to the canvas below. And Ford pop it up. Ford field, a drop kick to the back of Shelton Benjamin. And Montez Ford looking to build some momentum here for the Street Profits. Got to keep his eye on the ball, though. Pay dirt by Shelton Benjamin. And that may be all she wrote for the Profits here this evening, and it is. 
A great tag team matchup to kick us off here on main event. A lovely showing by Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford bringing the fight to the Hurt Business. But as for tonight here on main event, the W goes to Cedric Alexander and the gold standard Shelton Benjamin. And I'm sure not only are they eyeing up Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, but I'm sure they got their eyes on Dominic and Rey Mysterio as well for a future tag here team championship winners, opportunity. Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, the Hurt Business. Back in the winning ways for Alexander and Benjamin. And could a new dawn of the Hurt Business be looming here in the WWE? The tag team division better take notice because Alexander and Benjamin are on top. What well, is time for a little bit of cruiserweight action here? Everybody take cover. Everybody get low because the hurricane is coming through here on main event tonight. The hurricane helm set for cruiserweight action as we continue to roll on here this evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 215 pounds. The Hurricane! As we mentioned this past Sunday Night at Extreme Rules, the one and only Ricochet retaining his Cruiserweight Championship over the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, and that phenomenal ladder match. You gotta check it out if you missed it. You aren't gonna believe the sights that those two men put each other through in that contest. But now that Santos Escobar has been put behind Ricochet, who is gonna be next to challenge the one and only? We know Isaiah Swerve Scott was originally supposed to be in that matchup. Had to drop out due to a concussion. He will get a championship match in the future, but could it be one of these guys looking to step up here tonight as the Hurricane takes on a newcomer and from NXT? From Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds. Let's so Dragunov not the only person making their debut here on the main roster tonight. A new addition to the Cruiserweight division as Wesley from NXT is here tonight. One of the best high flyers and most innovative high flyers in the game today has got himself a test against a veteran of the ring in the Hurricane here this evening on main event. It should be an incredible Cruiserweight contest. I'm looking forward to see what Wesley does under the bright lights of the main roster here in the WWE. And again, it's a big time opportunity as Ricochet is going to be looking for new championship challengers for the Cruiserweight Gold. Could it be Wesley? Could it be the Hurricane? We will find out in due time, but we are set for our next contest here tonight on Thursday night's main event. The Hurricane, Wesley. This is a first time ever contest going down. You aren't going to want to miss it, and you aren't going to want to blink as we get underway with this contest. I know. Of course, the Hurricane made his return to the WWE on main event well over a month ago. And you remember, he teamed up on that night with Isaiah Swerve Scott and the one and only Ricochet in that six-man tag team matchup against Legado del Fantasma. Hurricane's been one-on-one -on -one since returning. He took a loss to Buddy Murphy a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. So I'm sure the Hurricane's looking to bounce back from that loss and looking to get his name in contention for the Cruiserweight Championship. And Hurricane's a former multiple-time Cruiserweight champion as well as a former world tag team champion. In all the renditions of his career, Hurricane's held many golds on several occasions. I'm sure he looks is looking to do that again here this evening, or at least in the future. And again for Wesley, this is his main roster debut here tonight. A former NXT tag team champion, a world-traveled young star in the wrestling business. But will Wesley be able to handle the pressure of main event here tonight? As the Hurricane's looking good since the opening bell. Should be a great Cruiserweight matchup. The Cruiserweight division continuing to get more and more exciting week after week. As new challengers continue to emerge and Ricochet continues to defend that gold. He's been a fighting champion ever since he won the title at SummerSlam. Again, that incredible ladder match that took place at Extreme Rules, which originally, as we mentioned, was supposed to be a triple threat matchup with Isaiah Swerve Scott. Unfortunately, last week here on main event when Isaiah Swerve Scott took on Joaquin Wild, Swerve suffered a concussion. Luckily for him, a minor one, but was not able to compete in extreme roles. He will be back here in the coming weeks and will receive a Cruiserweight Championship matchup against the one and only Ricochet, which will be their third meeting in recent months. 
It will be a rubber match as both men have earned a victory over each other, so it should be very interesting to see who defeats the other on that night for the Cruiserweight Championship. But look at the innovative offense from West Lee, spiking Hurricanes head into the canvas and a big time springboard moonsault. Very impressive from West Lee, Hurricane. Try to get back into this fight here, take a West Lee off his feet. A nice shot, Hurricane knows how to throw down inside of that ring. He knows how to take it to the air, but the Hurricane definitely a more grounded competitor in comparison to some of the others in the Cruiserweight division. But again, Hurricane knows how to take flight from the top, big time splash. It could be enough here to put the young kid away, but Wesley gets the shoulder up. Hurricane looking to keep the momentum going. Again, the last time we saw Hurricane Helms inside of that ring was on Monday Night Raw a number of weeks ago against the disciple Buddy Murphy. And unfortunately for Hurricane on that night, Murphy picked up the victory, but Hurricane, we know he could have stay down. Big time maneuver there, taking Wesley off his feet, but Wesley continuing to drag that shoulder off the canvas. Helms is looking good, but Wesley's hanging in there in this contest. Got to give credit where it's due. Hurricane going for a cross body, but he crashes and burns, and Wesley looking to take advantage here. But not enough just yet. Not enough damage done on the veteran, the Hurricane in this contest, but Wesley knows that. Looking to bring the fight to the former Cruiserweight champion. Hurricane's been a champion in WCW, here in WWE as well. Singles championships, tag team championships, a veteran of the ring. Recently returned here to the WWE. You know he's going to be eyeing up championship gold. He's eyeing up Wesley right now. Oh, no. Could be looking for that. Verna breaker on Wesley. And you should probably count to 20 because there's no way Wesley. Oh, no. I stand corrected. Wesley getting the shoulder off the canvas. Big ups to the young kid able to survive the vertebraker from the Hurricane here. But Hurricane was scouting him for something, but Wesley able to counter there. Wesley looking good in this contest. Hurricane can catch the young kid. Look at this, little tilt to whirl, head scissors. Hurricane goes down. And Lee looking good, shooting Hurricane off. A nice forearm here. What's the kid looking to do? Get a load of this! A moonsault Pele kick. Wesley showcasing his attributes here tonight, showcasing his abilities, and that may have been a knockout blow to Hurricane Helms. Not just yet as the Hurricane gets the shoulder up. Man, Wesley and Hurricane tearing the roof off the joint here on main event here tonight. Cruiserweight action at its finest here. And Hurricane's sense of urgency here, climbing up the ropes, nice tornado DDT. Now springboard, the back senton that knocked the wind out of Wesley there. Thaws it up with a leg drop. You see Hurricane just pulling anything out of the arsenal right now to try to keep the kid down. He may not have been expecting this fight from Wesley here tonight. And a frog splash, that's gonna do a number on both men. Hurricane again with the crossbody. Absolutely unloaded on the kid. And now Hurricane could be looking for that vintage choke slam. He's got a hold. And he slams him down to the canvas below. And Wesley put up a great fight. But I don't know if he's going to be able to survive. He does not. The Hurricane's walking out your victor. Hey, you got to give credit where credit's due. Even in his debut here on the main roster, Wesley absolutely impressing all of us here tonight. We knew he had the talents, a former champion in NXT. But taking the fight to the Hurricane in this singles matchup, surviving some of the Hurricane's best offense. But in the end, Hurricane Helms just absolutely unloading on Wesley. Felt a sense of urgency after the move you just saw and knew it was time to put the young kid away. Here is your winner, the Hurricane! Will the Hurricane be a future challenger for the Cruiserweight Championship? I'm sure the veteran of the ring and the Hurricane would love to step inside with Ricochet for the first time ever and a chance to hold the gold. Will that be in the Hurricanes future? Well, coming up next week on Monday Night Raw, he reared his head this past week. The black heart of NXT, Tommaso Ciampa, arrived and laid out the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne. But next week on Raw, he's set for action against the show-off Dolph Ziggler one-on-one. -on -one. 
And also next week, the WWE Championship Eliminator kicks off. Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, old rivals going to go at it on Monday Night Raw in the first round of the WWE Championship Eliminator to decide who makes their way to the Judgment Day pay-per-view. Well, it's been a great night of action here on Main Event, but it is time for the Main Event Contest. Under the bright lights, the Celtic Warrior is arriving once again. And after taking a loss at Extreme Rules to Drew McIntyre, you know Sheamus is going to be coming out with Hellfire and Brimstone in his eyes here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Things have not been going the way of the Celtic Warrior as of late. After dominating the summer as the Intercontinental Champion, things began to unravel back at SummerSlam for Sheamus when he lost the Intercontinental Championship. You remember Pete Dunne pinned Drew McIntyre, a part of that triple threat matchup to win the gold, all the way back at SummerSlam in June. Sheamus made it his goal to eliminate Drew McIntyre out of his way before he refocused on the Intercontinental Gold. Unfortunately for the Celtic Warrior, this past Sunday night at Extreme Rules in that no holds barred match, Drew McIntyre a little too much for Sheamus to handle. McIntyre got his hand raised on that night. But let's see if Sheamus can contend with Ilya Dragunov making his main roster debut here this evening. A former NXT United Kingdom champion. This young man, an incredible talent, a ruthless talent inside the squared circle. These two United Kingdom competitors gonna square off right here, right now, before your very eyes. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Drew. Ilya Dragunov had one of the best matches in NXT United Kingdom history against Walter several years ago for the United Kingdom Championship that kicked off his reign with the gold. Dragunov held the gold for quite some time, but now that he is here on the main roster, new goals, new accomplishments, new championships in the future for Dragunov. But up first is the Celtic warrior Sheamus. And remember after we said Sheamus taking that loss to Drew McIntyre at Extreme Rules, I'm sure he's going to be coming out swinging here tonight. And I'm sure he isn't taking Dragon off lightly. These two United Kingdom competitors, even though it's the first time being in the ring with each other, I'm sure have scouted and know each other very well. Dragon off knows he's in for a fight. The Celtic Warrior knows that as well. And that man right there could be a future star of the WWE. Imagine Dragon off in there with Drew McIntyre, with Pete Dunne, with so many others here in World Wrestling Entertainment. But tonight, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus is first on the list for their debuting Ilya Dragunov. This is going to be a big time main event here on Thursday night. Sheamus, Dragunov, one on one. The bell has sounded and we are underway. And Sheamus immediately taking Dragunov off his feet. Sheamus obviously the bigger competitor of the two, but do not take Dragunov lightly. He knows how to chop you down, beat you down, and absolutely beat the hell out of you. Remember how he said he became the United Kingdom champion some time ago, defeating the big man Walter in NXT UK. Dragunov knows how to get it done in the ring. He's one of the most, one of the most excuse me, ruthless, violent, and most talented human beings that have stepped foot in the WWE in several years. So look at that, automatically taking Sheamus off his feet into the bridge with the cover. You got to keep your eye on Dragunov. He's going to be a player here in the WWE for years to come. But Sheamus trying to make sure Dragunov doesn't make a name on the main roster off his behalf. And I can't imagine how Sheamus is going to react if he takes another big loss here tonight. It'll be three big losses in a row for the Celtic Warrior. And I'm sure deep down Sheamus still feels he has a score to settle with Drew McIntyre as well as Pete Dunne. Remember, Sheamus kind of wanted to focus on Drew McIntyre, get McIntyre out of his way before he refocused on becoming the Intercontinental Champion yet again on the Bruiser Way Pete Dunne. But where does Sheamus go from here? After taking that loss and no holds barred at Extreme Rules to McIntyre, it's going to be very interesting to see how Sheamus really molds back into the 
the ruthless Celtic warrior and figures out how to find ways to get his hand raised yet again. And you look at where Drew McIntyre head immediately after Extreme Rules. McIntyre is named one of the four participants in the WWE Championship Eliminator. That very well could have been Sheamus. Had Sheamus got his hand raised at Extreme Rules, we don't know that for sure, but you never know inside of the ring. It's all about getting your hand raised. We talk about it all the time here in the WWE. Wins and losses matter when it comes to getting championship opportunities, main event spotlights. Drew McIntyre's been getting it done. He won on pay-per-view, the reason he's in that WWE Championship Eliminator. I'm sure Sheamus feels some type of way about that as well. But for Sheamus tonight, he can't focus on McIntyre or Eliminator matches or the Intercontinental Championship possibly in his future. He's got to focus on Dragunov because if he doesn't, Dragunov's going to be right there to do moves like that. So unorthodox and so unique. Dragunov finds ways to just beat you down and take you off your feet and take the momentum inside the squared circle. Sheamus just slamming Dragunov down below. And looking to use his strength to his advantage here, picking him up and slamming him down. Big time power bomb from the Celtic Warriors. He looks to take it in here tonight in the main event. Now Sheamus, we don't see him go to the top rope too often here, but we know he can be effective from up there, especially when he's got the bigger size in this matchup. Elbow drop immediately into the cover, looking to crush the sternum of Dragunov. Dragunov hanging in, gets the shoulder up. Sheamus goes for the chop, Dragunov missing. Nice takedown there by Dragunov. Grabbing a hold of Sheamus in the knee to the face, and that's going to hurt even harder. Dragunov, no knee pads for this man inside the ring. Some may call that career suicide. Dragunov, on the other hand, calls it more than effective. Luckily for Sheamus, he's still got the wits about him to counter out Dragunov. Now he's got him over the head and hangs him up in the top rope. But Dragunov, who's been under the bright lights of these big arenas before, has been in the spotlight in NXT, but I'm sure there's gotta be some main roster jitters here tonight in his first time ever meeting against Sheamus. We saw how focused Dragunov looked making his way to the ring here tonight. It may just be a case of Sheamus' aggression just being too much at the current moment for Dragunov to handle. Sheamus definitely been in control the majority of this contest thus far. He goes to the cover yet again on Dragunov, but Ilya gets the shoulder up. Dragunov popping up there, big time, jumping clothesline. A very effective way to take the bigger man down. As he does it yet again, a nice chop, one of the hardest chops in the business. Look at this overhand ones. Trying to unload on the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus dodges, grabs a hold. Oh no. Dragunov may be going for the ride. Celtic Warrior's got him in a precarious situation. And Dragunov just goes down on the canvas. But look at that. Sheamus was looking for another nail in the coffin. Dragunov countered, spinning chop. A hard enough hit to take Sheamus down. And the momentum shifts back very fast to Ilya Dragunov. And Sheamus' day is dragging off here. Trying to get the crowd here tonight behind him, trying to build some momentum over the Celtic Warrior. Went for that clothesline again, but Sheamus able to dodge it. Oh no, and now he's got a hold of the smaller competitor here. Gonna look to ragdoll him a little bit with these backbreakers. And run him in, crushing the back and the spine. Three in a row for Sheamus. Sheamus dropping the knee. You gotta wonder if the Celtic Warrior here is trying to send a message to anybody. In more particular, Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunne. With this beatdown right now on Dragunov. And both of those men, Sheamus is thinking about McIntyre, is thinking about Pete Dunne, but both of those men, as we were about to mention, they got other things to handle right now. Drew McIntyre, he defeated Sheamus. He's on his way to face Randy Orton this coming Monday Night on Raw. And that WWE Championship Eliminator, Pete Dunne on the other hand, just got done battling Finn Balor at Extreme Rules. And now evidently he's got Tommaso Ciampa in his sights after Ciampa rearing his head this past week on Raw, the black heart of NXT ambushing the Intercontinental Champion from behind. Absolutely laying out the bruiserweight in the middle of the ring. And again, we're going to see Tommaso Ciampa this coming week on Monday Night Raw as he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. It should be a great matchup ever since Dolph Ziggler returned the night after SummerSlam, he has yet to see defeat. Should be a great matchup coming up on Raw. Same thing with McIntyre and Orton. Give me another great night of Universe Mode action. Monday Night Raw this coming week as Dragunov trying to get back into this fight over Sheamus. 
Now Dragunov heading to the top rope. Sheamus a little bit dazed. Ilya trying to build some momentum right now. Taking flight and a beautiful crossbody. Taking down the bigger competitor. And Sheamus is a little bit dazed and confused. Dragunov so striking in this contest. Just trying to knock out Sheamus every which way into the bridge again. But Dragunov got other ideas in mind. And Sheamus is down. On the second rope this time, it drops the bare knee. And that could be a knockout blow if you hit it right. And into the cover, looking to take advantage. And he gets the two count, but not enough yet to keep Sheamus down. And here we talked about Sheamus being in that no-holds-barred match at Extreme Rules. You gotta wonder his condition coming into this fight. A match that saw the use of kendo sticks and steel chairs. And Sheamus ate not one, but two Claymore kicks right to the Chrome Dome. I can't imagine Sheamus is coming into this fight tonight 100%. But regardless here, he's hanging in the fight with Dragunov. He's trying to keep the man down, but Dragunov keeps coming back for more in this contest. Sheamus bringing Dragunov to his feet. Now could be looking for that Alabama, or should we call it an Irish slam, right into the corner. Dragunov may have hit the back of his head off one of those turnbuckles. Sheamus couldn't give a damn. Just looking to knock out his competitor. A nice chop and Dragunov unloading here with the forearms. Another chop. Forearm. Another chop. Forearm. Dragunov is unloading on the Celtic Warrior here. Holding nothing back over Sheamus. Get a load of this. He's still going. Oh, Sheamus got dodging him there. Now just trying to put an end to the onslaught by Dragunov. And that choke slam power bomb may be enough. And now Sheamus is ticked off. After Dragunov was teeing off in the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus is now going to do the same. Trying to pumble him to get the victory here. But Dragunov getting his shoulder up. And Sheamus is just disrespecting his competitor. Sheamus don't give a damn who you are inside that ring. This is a man with very few friends in that locker room. I don't think Sheamus is looking to make friends with Dragunov here tonight. And he's got him in that cloverleaf here. And if Dragunov taps out, Sheamus is going to be back in the winning ways. Dragunov's holding on. He doesn't want to take the loss in his debut here on the main roster here tonight. We know how talented and tough that young man is. But can he survive the Celtic Warrior? Dragunov up. Celtic Warrior shooting him off into the corner. Oh, now Sheamus is trying to tee off. With these knees, beat the hell out of Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov's down. Sheamus just trying to ragdoll the younger competitor again. And I don't know if Dragunov's going to be able to get back into this fight. Sheamus is really taking a stranglehold over the momentum. But again, Dragunov gets the shoulder up. Man. Sheamus cannot figure out what is... Gonna take to put this man down, but a bro kick may do just that. And a great effort, an amazing effort by Ilya Dragunov. You wanna talk about survival? That young man absolutely showcasing he can do just that here tonight. He brought the fight to Sheamus, he survived the onslaught on many occasions, but Sheamus. Just coming out swinging here tonight with a point to prove. It wasn't just about getting his hand raised. It was about sending a message to all of Sheamus' rivals as of late. Dragunov putting up the fight, but in the end, that bro kick that got Dragunov all tangled up in the ropes and knocked out cold was enough to give the win to the Celtic Warrior here this evening. Big time win for Sheamus, whether you like the man or not. Well, Sheamus is back in the winning ways. And what is going to be next for the Celtic Warrior? Thank you for joining us here tonight on Main Event. And we will see you this coming Monday Night on Raw for Tommaso Ciampa versus Dolph Ziggler, as well as the first match of the WWE Championship Eliminator, Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton, one-on-one. -on -one. We will see you next time. Good night, everybody.
same taste on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rock.